hello guys and welcome back to dbc creations so today i'm going to show you guys how to place your curve room to curve your posterior or your bust area and um, i noticed that some people find it difficult to use their curves their curve room to achieve that because when you line up or match up your your shapes some will be like some will not be pointy it will be like a sharp it will have a sharp edge like this which is not supposed to be so today i'm going to show you guys how to use your curve rule to achieve your bust area and then you can use either your ample curve or this buttonhole curve i don't know what it's called it is 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 also useful or you can use this this is they sell this at uh, 350 or 300 or 250 per set or you can use this to achieve that but i'm going to use my ample curve and my stretch rule for this tutorial so basically my stretch rule is just to line to line my uh, to line my pepper so this is what i'll be using for this today i don't know if it is straight or not so all you have to do is firstly my shoulder to my waist is uh, 18 so i'm going to minus six and a half do you see I, because this is will be the upper part of my basic body so from that six and a half which i want to start from then my shoulder to nipple is ten and a half which is somewhere here then my under bust is 14 which is here and my waistline is this is not this paper is not enough so i'm going to leave it at this 17 and a half that this thing is so here is my bust area my shoulder to nipple then my under bust so another thing that i want you guys to know is to measure your bust to bust area mine is um mine is four mine is supposed to be three and a half but i will use 3.75 mine is three let me use 3.75 so here is where my bust to bust stopped so 3.75 3.75 and 3.75 here guys remember that this is supposed to be on fold so when cutting you have to place your fabric on fold before doing before cutting it so i remember that from this line to here is a uh, is uh, three three point seven five so all I have to do is to place my ruler like this at the down part of this place like this you place it like this and make sure that is in the same line with is in the same line with this uh, it's the same line with uh, your 3.75 just there will be a little difference between the down part okay the down part will now be exactly that three and a half so from this okay, this is my under bust it's supposed to be up here a little so from this my bust, this my shoulder to nipple to here, six, ten and a half. So from this shoulder to nipple, I will then turn my ruler like this. Remember that the first step is to do your your ruler will be facing the outer part of like will be facing the side of your arm of your seam allowance that's your ample then the next step is to place your ruler inside inside and also make sure that 
Let me measure my 3.75 from here. So it's somewhere like. So always make sure that you place your ruler and it will match up with and it will match up with this place with this line here. So from that 3.7. I'm making sure that it, ma it matches up. Guys, can you see the shape? So, from here now, it depends if you want it to be curvy. So, the next step for this upper part, just this one is half inch and half inch. And you are going to minus on the upper part from that to your 3.75. Either you might not have inch or you might not have 0.25, sorry, depending on how you want yours to be. So the next step is to place your, either you place your ruler. So the next step is to place your ruler like this. And connect. And connect it like this. So when you are through connecting, you clean here a little, you clean here so that you will have something like this curve. Guys, can you see that the curve is already forming? Then on this part, on this part, you have to place your ruler like this. You have to place your ruler like this. Then you curve it. So, but firstly, I like starting here, and here is you place your ruler like this. I have to show you why I love doing this like this. So, you place your ruler like this, make sure that it touches this point here, there will be no space. So when you reach this particular point where your underboss stops, then you you do it like this. You face it this side and you curve. Guys, do you see it? Then on this part, on the upper part, you have to place your ruler also like this. So that it will match up with, it will match up with this, uh, with this point that you created upwards, and make sure that everything is in line. Guys, do you see? It's so super easy, and then uh, it's so cute. Then on this upper part, if you want to have any curve, just place your ruler like this because this is the upper part. Then you place your ruler like this. Then you start from where your middle part stopped. Then you curve. Then on this part, on this part, all you have to do is to place your ruler like this and make sure that it touches, it's touching this, uh, this point and you curve. There must be a curve up here depending on the style that you are making. Then down here, down here, you also have to come down, make your ruler to face the outer part of your pepper then you curve so that is how to place your ruler when drafting your bustilla let me start afresh to explain when drafting your bustilla this video is all about how to place your curve ruler to achieve a perfect curve so the first step is to measure from where to where you want to cut out and where you want your 
your full length to stuff. My stuffs are 17 and half inches. So I cut out my pattern. Then from here, my bust to bust is uh, I did it 3.75 somewhere here because I know my reason. Because if you do it like four, you will have extra inches, extra inches to add to this side. So I did it 3.75, 3.75 all the way down. So you see from here to here is 3.75 exactly. So after getting my 3.75, I minus six inches upwards. So from that six inches, I marked out my uh, my from my shoulder to my nipple, which is here, and from my uh, and from my shoulder to my under bust, then my down to the full length, shoulder to nipple, shoulder to under bust, and your full length. So after marking the the desired and um, what you want to mark out like the most important is shoulder to nipple then your under bust so the first step after marking it out is to place your ruler like this is to place your ruler like this outwards to the seam allowance side and place it like this and make sure you connect you start from the under bust mark and from the under bust mark And you and you curve after curving it then you place your ruler like this you place the ruler like this so that you will get that curve and start from that shoulder to nipple where you mark that from shoulder to nipple and match it up to that uh, and match it up to your under boss where you mark your under boss then from your from that uh, six from that six inches you stop then you place your ruler like this do you see you place your ruler up let me just say you place your ruler upside down from the normal curve and then you connect the lines between that six inches that you start from to where your shoulder to nipple point starts and that is how we achieve this curve on this side all you have to do is to first of all, this is where the where the under bust stops. Then from that place, you place your ruler inside. Do you see where what I'm doing? You place your ruler where that seam allowance. You place it inside. Then after placing it inside, you draw your curve and stop at that your under bust point. Then after you you stop at that place, then you place your ruler facing the where the fold is, like the middle part of your of your pattern draft. Then you also curve it, starting from that your under bust to the full length where you want it to stop. So after curving it, you place your ruler upside down like this. Then start from that your Start from that your shoulder to nipple point and match it up with that 0.25 inch up weight. So that is how to use your ruler to achieve your bust curve. Then what I said concerning the up part is to use your ruler and place it like this. Then you curve out. You curve out like this, depending on how many inches you want and how open you want your middle part to be. Then after curving it out, you place the ruler like this, depending on the style that you are making, and also curve and also curve it like this. Then after curving it, you also place the ruler like this at the ample part, and then you curve it. So after coming it, all you have now to do, because here now becomes exactly at four inches. That's the middle part, which will give you that space, like that curve that you want to achieve. This can be achieved on any type of 
breast or any type of breast size so from here this is like a 3.6 3.75 so i will place my 3.75 and continue my measurement so this way is nine let me just do it nine and a half or two this is four nine and a half So I went up by half an inch. So I'm going to stop at this uh, point. Uh, but if you want to be more accurate, you use first of all use your ruler and draw a sharp edges. Then after drawing it, you can use your ruler to shape out always make sure that you are using the right the right side of your curl to achieve a perfect so from this side now do you see the difference between this point and where i placed my ruler so i'm going to clean up here and that is it guys so i'm going to cut it out so now this is what we have and always make sure that you know which one is the up part and which one is the down part so to know which one is the up part it's left for you to use your grain line to achieve this so you mark arrow where the up part is and where the down part is and also where the arrow the arrow the green line also cover up on how to place your fabric or how to place your pattern on your fabric see you guys bye